most people understand that design plays a big part in our everyday life. It shapes the world we live in, it leads to the products we use, and helps create the services we use every day. But not everyone understands the vital role it plays in our economic growth, what it can do for businesses, for our public services, for our manufacturing base and our built environment. It's fundamentally important that um, the way that you design and make products is, is, is absolutely core to business. It can translate so many of those ideas into realistic commercial products. I think people don't use design and technology because they don't understand it. In many ways as a process it doesn't sit very comfortably in the context of business. Well design and technology are absolutely vital for manufacturing and vital for exporting and it's really, really important that we export products the world wants. What has become apparent to me over uh, recent years is just the sheer scale of global competition uh, for manufacturing. I mean, anybody now uh, can turn out any product. What will differentiate is that unique design flair that's built into a product. That's what creates the value. The differentiator for UK manufacturing and service in global markets as something that keeps us at the cutting edge of high value added business. The 20 billion a year we spend on design in this country is a key market advantage. The very best business people that I know and I get to work with have this wonderful understanding and familiarity with the design and creative process. Design is actually extremely critical for the growth of the businesses we support as investors and broadly the, the economy as well. It helps them to, to maximize the sort of inherent opportunities within the business that aren't at first apparent. And that gives us a chance to be even more competitive in the world and that's what sustain them going forward and that's what help them grow and sustain our economy. Successful design leads of course to this tendency for good quality product to be exported. Wealth generated through export is extremely positive for the wealth of our nation. 54% of all of the jobs that have been created in the UK for the last seven years have come from 6% of companies that are, that are fast growth and innovative. And I'll bet you that every single one of those guys are focused on design for the, with the customer in mind. To get good design you need quite a lot of good things. You need good architects, good designers, but you need good clients as well. That They need to understand what design can do for them. It's easy to design something that's just different, but innovation is very difficult, and that, I think, requires that design as a function is absolutely central to, to business, absolutely central to the decisions that are made, and I think it makes sense for design as a function then to be part of leadership. You've got so many givens in the whole process of making anything. And the only real added value you're going to get in the terms of growth of business is actually to put design into that element because that's the intellectual value that you're putting into it. I don't think up until now that uh, design has played an important enough part for SMEs. Um, there are clearly uh, those businesses that have embraced it strongly. I think Brompton Bicycles would be an example that everybody knows. But I think British business is waking up, uh, small business is waking up to the critical need for design to be built in at a very early stage of product development. The case for design is compelling and as a nation we're good at it. Design encourages innovation, creates competitive advantage and drives growth. But we don't use design enough. What could you do in your business to put design right at the heart of it? Get a designer on your team and have them work with you to bring your great technological idea to delight a customer. Because if you don't have that person then you're going to miss it. Be bold. Be bold and invest even when times are tough. Have faith in your design process and continue to invest in it even during times of recession. Design, it's so vital because if you design carefully and build carefully and do, you know, I think, beautiful things, I think people feel good about themselves. 
design is absolutely critical and it's over the longevity of, of a business. And you can see that with the Apple's history or even Google where it's, you know, part, part of their 10 key messages or 10 key truths, design's number one. Design is a complex set of issues. You will make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, commit to that design process and continue to move on. It's the difference between customer satisfaction and customer delight and design is one of the things that can be that differentiator. People have got to look beyond what might be their conventional perception of what design is and what it can do and to look at the examples that exist where design has been shown to add real value and then try it out on your own company and your own area of influence.